Hey, what's happening guys? The other day I did a video on using a library to control some uh, seven segment displays and everybody had remarked how it wasn't a very good solution and I agree it was a rather shitty solution but what it was was a software solution that I was uh, showing you guys in case you didn't have a hardware solution but today we're going to look at the hardware solution and that hardware solution is right here and that is the max 7219 chip it is an excellent chip you can control up to eight of these seven segment displays uh, per chip and you can string I think as many of them together as you like by going from the data out to the data in it's pretty simple now I know you guys are sitting here looking at this uh, rat's nest of wires and going well that's some kind of goat rope you got going on there how are we going to figure out how to wire all that up well I'm going to show you it, it isn't really hard at all um, and I'll show you how this all goes together uh, first let's go take a look at the code that I'm using for this little demo and this is just a demo from the LED control library which is set up to use the Mac 7219 to drive either one of these 8x8 matrices or the seven segment displays and it's pretty simple to use most of this is just using one command um, set digit let's go take a look at how that works and then we'll come back and talk about the wiring all right here's a quick look at our code we have one include that is the LED control library then we need to create an instance of LED control which we're going to call LC with these arguments our data in our clock our load or CS and the number of the max 7219 chips we're using now we're just creating a variable for the delay time here next we need to wake up the display so LC shutdown number of display this is our address for the max 7219 since we're only using one it's always going to be zero and false so it is not shut off then we're going to set the intensity LC set intensity chip address zero eight medium value next we'll clear the display LC clear display what display display zero now it's just going to write some stuff onto the screen it's going to write Arduino so this is just a uh, set character we're not really going to go over this too much because what we want to uh, focus on is the digits and right here what it's going to do is it's just going to scroll through hexadecimal digits here so it just creates a little for loop and here's the command LC set digit 0 3 I false and you're probably going yeah well, what the hell does that mean well if we go and look at the header file we have right here set digit and what it wants is the address of our max chip and of course we're using zero which digit we're doing starting from the right which is digit zero and moving towards the left they increase then our value and then true or false whether or not we want to activate the decimal point so right here we're doing LC set digit to chip zero um, digit 3 value is I and false so that's it then it's doing it here digit 2 I plus 1 false digit 1 I plus 2 false and uh, digit 0 I plus 3 again no decimal points now 
I only have the two set up, so we're only getting these two here. You're not going to see these two, but it all works the same. And that's it. Then it just calls those two functions. Okay. Let's talk about the wiring now. I figured it would be easier to do it as a drawing. So we have our Mac 7219, our two seven segment displays, digit zero on the right, digit one on the left, and we have our Arduino, and we have a capacitor. It's a 10 microfarad, and it is connected between five volts and ground. Okay? So our first is our DN, that is pin seven, from the Arduino and pin one from the Mac 7219. Alrighty. And next up is our clock, which on here is pin six, and it goes to pin 13. And our load, which here is pin five on the Arduino and it goes to pin 12 on the Mac 7219. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm actually drawing. Then we have our five volts, which goes to pin 19. And we also have on pin 18, and I forgot to draw it in here, is a resistor and in this case I'm using 33 K so pin 18 goes through a resistor and also to 5 volts and that is our current limiting resistor refer to the uh, max 7219 data sheet if you need to know what value to use for your um, your particular case it, it, it depends on the forward voltage of your your displays all right so next pins four and nine pardon the crudeness of my drawings here of the Mac 7219 go to ground. So that handles all of our connections between the Arduino and the Mac 7219. Now let's hook up our two seven segment displays to the Max. So the first thing we need to do is hook up our digits. So digit zero, pick one of your ground pins, it really doesn't matter which one. Digit zero connects to pin two, and digit one connects to pin 11. Pardon again, this is horrible. To pin 11. So those are our digits. Now for our segments. Segment A connects to pin 14. So A goes to 14. B goes to 16. Wow. What a mess, huh? C goes to 20. D goes to 23. E goes to 21. Went too far there. F goes to 15. And G 
goes to where's G go? Oh, I think I've missed G. Hold on one second. Okay, G goes to pin 17. Now, to connect one to the other, we are simply paralleling them together. I know that is absolutely horrible, but it should give you an idea. And if it doesn't, um, I'll write it down here for you. So this is from our max 7219. Our pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So it goes like this. One is DN, two is digit zero, four is ground, nine is ground, 11 is digit one, 12 is our load, 13 is the clock, 14 is A, 15 is F, 16 is B, 17 is G, 18 is called I set, 19 is VN, 20 is C, 21 is E, 22 is your decimal point, 23 is D and 24 is D out. Now these ones that I didn't mark here are just for more segments. So I apologize for the sloppiness of the drawing, but I hope that gives you guys a better understanding of how the Max 7219 works. It's pretty simple. You know, you can uh, copy these numbers down, pause it, whatever. And um, that'll give you a better idea. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to watch the Steelers. You guys have a good day. Peace.